Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing everything that was covered today in DevStream 63. To start, we were joined by Philip Daniel, Gabriela Kovarova, and Forsythia. I'm sorry if I butchered any of your guys' names. The stream mainly focused on bug reports and their progress on it so far. So really, with no further delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> First things first, they talked about that bug that is going around right now that is causing people to have no head, confirming that they are working on it but haven't been able to find a solution yet and that they would greatly appreciate anyone who can send any type of help they can do. Then they shifted to the EUM crate rewards issue where they are weaker than special issue crates which is causing players in EUM to throw to get those special issue crates rather than the EUM crates. They stated that the reason the EWIM crates are considered the better rewards is because EWIM crates on paper have a better loot pool, and they can drop purple and golds and specialty cons cosmetics. I disagree here. Special issue crates drop more weapons, crates, and cosmetics overall, while EWIM crates do have the ability to drop special issue crates and some cool consumables, EWIM crates also have a lot of very useless items that detract from making them useful. I really suggest to fix this issue a removal of the random detracting items we see in EUM crates as well as an addition of XP to EUM crates. Though they later stated that they are working on something on their end in regards to EUM crates so we may see a tweak to them going into 12.1. But they also said they cannot publicize the details regarding what that tweak would be at this very moment. Moving from there, Gabby talked about an issue existing with scope glass, and this issue, while I personally haven't seen it and I don't really understand what they're talking about, for those of you that do know, it's going to be fixed in 12.1. A bit later, a commenter reported a bug that radioactive airdrop from comms is currently not working. This got a lot of dismay from the devs, and we'll have to see if it gets fixed with 12.1. They then addressed some issues regarding loot, which the community has stated that looting has gotten harder after the update. The devs responded that while looting in one place will be harder, you will be able to loot in more places that is more spread out and you will no longer have to go to specific places. Really, there should just be more loot across the entire map instead of having hot points like it used to be. Following this, they stated that the premium pack for this season, which has not arrived yet, will be arriving later into this season. So, much like the Adam's Vengeance and the other things, we will be getting one of those, it just hasn't arrived yet. I'd expect it in 12.1, whenever that drops. But that's really all the new info we got in this dev stream. It wasn't too much, but that's mainly because we are just currently stuck between updates. I'm excited for the next dev stream though, and hopefully it will be more informative. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.